All right. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. I have Ever Nines Huawei G9 2019 and Gamaliel. Um El que tiene Huawei G9 2019, le puede cambiar el nombre, please. So I can call you up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so today is Monday, so we have a lot to do today. Um and also I have some announcements on the work that you have to do on, on the web, you know, you have to do uh, a lot of work that hasn't been done. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, later on, we're going to have a little practice. Remember, uh, last week we were practicing about the simple future. Uh, but I need to know, because you are um, beginners number three, right? Principiante tres. So that means that beginners one and two, you were supposed to be practicing other, other tenses. So I want to know which ones, so we can combine uh, the practice with all of the tenses that you already know. That well, supposedly know. Okay. So let's begin. So for today, okay. good for today. Let me see here. Let's see here. Okay, so for today we have, first we're going to check um, a video, a video about imperatives. Okay, let me just share it with you guys. Okay, let's share it with sound. I have to share it with sound. And it's imperatives. Here we go. I want you to pay attention to this. Is everybody, uh, can everybody see this is a little conversation. Yes, teacher. The conversation says, don't work too hard. We're going to come back to this because we need to uh, practice something here, okay? So listen up, pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates a conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't 
work is the verb and the complement to har. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Good. Did everybody Perfect. listen to that? No subject is necessary. Sorry, let me just, I want to show you this one here. Yes. Don't work too hard. Cool. Okay. Um, can everybody hear me? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so in this case, the conversation is called Don't Work Too Hard. And as you can see, we're going to focus on what is um, imperatives. Imperatives, there are words in English to say that somebody has to do something, you know, like an order. In Spanish, could be like una orden directa. Like, say, like, for example, if you want to give an order in Spanish, you say, um, las, las pastillas a las cuatro de la tarde. That's, that's an imperative. That's an order from the doctor. So that's what we're, we're working on this, okay? So we're going to come back to this. And right now, I'm going to share with you the PowerPoint or the presentation for this topic. Let's see. Let me just look at it. Oh, here it is. Um, he said, oh, tips. there it is. Let me just upload it. So guys, how, how was your weekend? Did you do anything fun? Do you guys understand me? Okay, I don't think so. No, teacher. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Oh, man. We were in the house. Yeah, me too. I was bored. I was really bored. <laughs> I was just watching TV. Well, I had a class on Saturday afternoon. You know, I, I teach from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So it was <gasps> five hours. Why for many four hours? It's for the university. I work for UCA University, oh, yes. Universidad Centroamericana, and I also work for um, the other university, which is over there by what is the place called? Um, what is the place? Matias Delgado. Do you know all, all the way up there? So I work for both of them. So I teach uh, in on weekends. Oh. Yeah, so I, I'm, I can, I'm kind of busy anyways, you know, but that's good. I like it. Okay, here we go. I have it ready. Now let's present it. And let me share it with you guys. Let's understand, with this, we're going to understand uh, what is, what are compared, um, imperatives. Okay, can everybody see my, my presentation? Yes. Yes. So, yes. Thank you. So we're going to do imperatives. So let's see what this is all about. Okay. The achievement indicator would be identify, discuss, and talk about imperatives. Let's see, topic introduction. Uh, Okay, um, let's see. Everybody read the, the, the introduction, please. Hey, what's up? Okay, let me, let me get somebody. Um, let's see, Ever Ayala and Carla Cano. Carla, you start, please. Okay. Hey, what's up, Kevin? 
Nice to see you today. What have you been up to lately? What's up, Diana? Nice to see you today too. I have been studying the sample picture. Studying, studying, studying. Uh, studying. I have been I have been studying. I have been studying the sample picture um, lately. Lately. What about you? As a matter of fact, I have been studying and a little. Do you know what we are going to learn today? Yes, I know. We are going to learn to su successfully, successfully, successfully identify discourse and tell about imperative. Imperatives. Very good. So listen to the conversation. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Nice to see you today. What have you been up to lately? Uh, what's up, Diana? Nice to see you too. Today too. I have been studying the simple future lately. What about you? As a matter of fact, I have been studying a little. Do you know what we're going to learn today? Yes, I know. We're going to learn to successfully identify, discuss, and talk about imperatives. Okay, questions here. Do you know what this means? What have you been up to lately? Es como que has hecho últimamente. Oh, no, como, no, no. ¿Por qué llegó tarde? No. No, no. ¿O no. te llegó temprano? No, what, what you have been up to lately is like, eh, ¿qué te has propuesto hacer últimamente? Pero en el futuro. ¿Qué te has propuesto hacer últimamente? ¿O qué planes tienes últimamente? Something like that. Ok. Good. Moving on. Let me just put on captions. I forgot to put captions. There we go. Okay, moving on. Imperative, imperative clauses. Let's see who's first to read. Okay, um, I have how many students? 10 students. Okay, listen to your numbers, please. Gamaliel, number one. Yes. Carla, number two. Carla Torrento, number two. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> you work. Ninette, number three. Okay. Angel Saravia, number four. Okay. Ever Ayala, number five. Okay. Y Joana Hernandez, number six. Okay. Okay. Jose, number seven. Okay. Carla Cano, number eight. Okay. And Noé. Noé is number nine. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, teacher. Okay, number one is going to read this. Please go. Yes. <clears throat> we use imperative clauses when we want to tell someone to do, someone to do something. Most commonly for uh, advice. Yes. Suggestions. Suggestions, requests, commands, order, or instruction. We can use them to tell people to do or not to do things. They usually don't have a subject. They are addresses to the listener, listener, listener or listeners. Who, who the speakers understand to be the subject, we use the base form of the verb. Have fun, enjoy your meal, to talking and open your books, don't be late. Very good, very good. So any questions about this? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh, Commonly. 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 Okay. Thank do you. you. Know, do you know what is advice? Anybody? Um, no. Aconsejar. Okay. Any, uh, any questions, guys? No more questions. Um, in the pronunciation is um, advice. Imperative. Imperative. Or imperatives. 
but it's good if you say imperative. Okay. Good. So as you can see, the examples have fun. What is have fun Spanish? Pasarla bien. So if I say to you, um, Ninette, have fun. ¿Qué le estoy diciendo ahí? If I if I say Ninette, have fun. What am I saying? In Spanish. In Spanish. What, what am I? Que si está que si se divierte. No. Que se, no. Que se divierta. Oh, oh, yes, there is. Sí, que se divierta, pero en una forma de una orden. Entonces sería como, eh, Ninet, diviértete. So, it's an order. That's why it's imperative. Because those are orders, okay? Now, let's go for the other one. Enjoy your meal. What does, what does that mean, enjoy your meal? Es como buen provecho. No, enjoy es buen provecho. Solo la palabra enjoy. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta, ¿no? Ah, disfruta tu comida. Very good. Es una oh, orden. Okay. okay, very good. Stop talking and open your books. What does that mean? Oh, deja de hablar y... Nada más me puedo... De, de tus libros. Y abre tus libros. Yes. Deja de hablar y abre tus libros. Okay. Yeah. And the other one is don't be late. What is that in Spanish? Don't be late. No llegues tarde. No llegues tarde. Very good. Notice that these examples are in the simple present. Okay? They are in the simple present. Okay, let's see now. Let's go for number two. Reading, please. Okay. Warning. We use imperative carefully. It is a very direct form. I would don't generally, 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 generally use it to make use it, use it, use it, it to make. Wait, wait, wait. Um, listen, when you have use and eat, se juntan las dos y decimos use it, use it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, uh, use it to make requests or comment. Or to give instructions, we can use just, just, please, or if you, I don't, <laughs> pronunciation for, which one, which one? Nah, well, dear, no, please, or if you, please, oh, please, if you wouldn't. If you wouldn't mind. If you wouldn't. If you wouldn't if mind. If you wouldn't mind. To make an imperative sound less direct. Open the window a little more. Please, if you wouldn't mind. Not. If you wouldn't mind. If you wouldn't mind. Yes. Open the window to direct to friends. And are you ready? Just give me a minute, please. All right. Thank you very much. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation here? Wold. Wold don't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Yes. It's a, it's a, um, that's, that's a verb, but it's, it's not a regular or irregular verb. It's what we call modal verbs. Oh, eh, verbos de modales. Uh, okay. It, it's like when, when you want to say, eh, me podría dar agua? In Spanish, right? In English, mm -hmm. we'll say, eh, would you give me some water? So, son verbos de modales. Uh, modal mm -hmm. verbs, okay? Okay, let's move on. Number three, reading, please. Okay. For emphasis, Wait, we start can from here. Use... start from the from the team here. Okay, imperatives oh, with subject pronouns. For emphasis, we can use doing an imperative clause. A student and teacher, can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Can, can I leave the room? No, you stay here. 
In negative imperatives of this type, you comment after don't. Don't you try to pay for this. I invited you for lunch and I insist or paying. Very good. So for emphasis, it's like in Spanish, hacer enfatizar emphasis. algo, enfatizar algo. So uh, in this case, you emphasize, está enfatizando que esa persona se tiene que quedar ahí. In this one, Maria, don't you, and you again, so está enfatizando de que esa persona no tiene que pagar por eso, ¿ok? Ok. Questions, vocabulary or pronunciation? Sure. Good. Let's go for number four. Number four reading, please. Okay. Warning. Uh, be careful uh, when using subject pronouns uh, in imperative clauses. Uh, clauses, as they can sound very direct. Uh, we can also. Um, also. Also. Also, we can, we can also, yes, we can, we can also uh, use words like someone, somebody, no one, nobody, uh, everyone, everybody, especially in uh, speaking. Uh, uh, some, uh, somebody call a doctor a uh, quick. Very good. Thank you very much. In this example, what does it mean? Somebody call a doctor quick. What, what, what is, what does it mean? Yeah, so there is an emergency. So está, está dando una orden porque hay una emergencia. Very good. Nice. Moving on. Uh, who's next reading? Do you know who is next reading? Uh, Joanna? Yes. Oh, number five. Oh, number five. Okay, number five, please reading this. Okay. In imperative we do <laughs> when we use the emphatic emphatic do auxiliary. emphatic 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 do auxiliary in make an imperative some more poly more polite more, more polite more polite and more formal. At the beginning, 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 beginning of a meal, do start formal, do sit down and make yourself comfortable. 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 Yes. We can use emphatic. 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 We can use empathy doing short answer. Answers, answers. Answers, answers. Without, we do, without, um, without a mind bear. Can use, can, can, I, can I, I use, can I use your phone to call a taxi? Do, of course. By all means, it's still on the desk. It's there on the desk. Very good. Questions about vocabulary or meaning of a word? Yes, teacher. Read. What's the meaning? What? Where, where, where? More polite. More polite. 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 Educadamente. Polite. Educadamente. Yes, yes. Any other question? What is the pronunciation for beginning? Beginning. Or beginning? No, be beginning. 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 That is in present continuous. Beginning. Simple be present, begin. Okay. okay. Of okay. meal, Seria. Yeah, beginning of meal. What is meal? Okay. Uh, Do you know what is meal? Comida, comida, that's, that's what it means. Okay, number six, ready, ready to read. Number six, please. Okay. Imperatives with let, let's. We use let 
to form first person and third person imperative. Third person. Let first, me see. First, what first. should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Yes. Let's start 9.30 tomorrow. Please. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. What, what does that mean? Um, let's. What significa let's? Let's go. Oh, let's no. go. Hacerlo. No, let's. Vamos. It means, yeah, it means like let's. incorporating a group of people. Haciendo un grupo de personas, dos o más. So, for example, if you say let's go, it, it would be vámonos. Ya son dos personas o más. So, lo que hace es que eh, hace plurales. Okay? Okay. Okay, moving on, number seven, right? Number seven? Eh, no entiendo. Ahí, ahí. Warning, warning. Warning. Warning is more formal context. We use the full for let as at the beginning of at the meeting. Let's let us, us let us begin by welcoming our new members. Very good. We can use empathy do with let informal context. Do let's try to be more environmentally 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 friendly. Very often we use let's let us let us when let us the let us when we are referring to the first person singular me. I can find my keys. Let's see where did I last have thing or let me see. Here we go. Questions? No questions. Okay, good. No questions. Num number eight. Number eight to read. Yeah. We can use let's on it on in short responses. Meaning yes when we respond to a suggestion. So we stop now and have a coffee break. Let's. Very good. Very good. Okay, questions here? question okay it's pretty clear number nine nine please teacher yes sorry what is the meaning shall the okay. previous yeah shall shall um yeah. It's, it's the same thing shall means like, uh, it's a moral verb hay un montón de verbos modales y este es uno de estos so uh, por un momento podrían decir de que eh, los verbos modales son muchos we can say like motor verbs are like could, can, shall, should, might, may. I want to. So, pero eso lo van a ver, no sé, en otro momento, en otro tema, okay? Okay. Okay, thank cool. you. Moving on. Okay, number nine, please. Thank you, sir. It's joking. So we practice now with house out and he knock on the doors until he thinks out. Good. Okay, so third person we can use also third person with a parities, meaning that already in or talking about already in another another person okay cool so everybody read right cool. so let's. okay um so what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to Okay, um, we're going to go back to the to the video because I need to explain something. Okay, let's go. 
Let me okay. just. Mm -hmm. Let me just find the video. Where are you, video? Curious. Okay, can everybody, can everybody see? All right. Thanks, okay. Dr. Young. The conversation that... Uh, here. That's what I want. After dinner. Okay. Um, so listen to this. Uh, what I want to show you in this is... So what's wrong exactly? Um, why are you so excited? In the first part of the of the um, of the conversation, the doctor is telling is asking uh, the patient. The patient is Miss West, right? So she's asking her what is going on with her. What is wrong? She's she's asking for her for her health, for su salud. Okay. And the and the thing is that uh, the patient, Mrs. West. She's, she's very tired. What is tired? What does it mean when it says tired? Cansado. Yes. Cansado. So Miss, uh, uh, so Miss West is very tired. La señora West está muy cansada. Okay, so next, uh, at the end of the conversation, they say, yes, I work too hard. So, la orden de doctor es no trabajar mucho. Okay? So, okay. Let's move on. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Illustrates the conversation okay. between. That's what I want you to check. Oh, no, I, I got another one. Better. 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 No better. I remember it was somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here. In this one, you can see, right? Better. So. In this one, we have different verbs. We have take. Remember last last time I was uh, I was explaining to you that when you say beber medicina, that means take. But when you say beber café, refresco, o soda, decimos drink or, or agua. Okay, but with medicine, it's always take. Bebible, okay. bebible. Okay, and we also have rest. We have drink. And we have work, stay up, and drink again. So, what is rest in Spanish? Descansar. Descansar, very good. What is stay up? You can see. What is stay up? Estar levantado. Desvelarse. Desvelarse. Yeah, stay up. Okay, um, so... What we're going to do, and what, what I want to find out with you guys, uh, is that what what tenses did you study in Principiante 1 and Principiante 2? What tenses have you studied there? I know that you have studied uh, Simple Present because these are in Simple Present. Sé que ya, ya, ya estudiaron el presente simple porque esto está en el presente simple. So, in Principiante 1 and 2, ¿qué tiempos practicaron o qué tiempos estudiaron? ¿Se acuerdan? Do you remember? No. I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember. Okay. Um, another question. Um, yeah? In the future is simple. No. Simple future, you're doing it with me. Futuro simple lo están haciendo conmigo. Antes de mí, en... En el módulo 1 y 2, ¿qué tiempo se estudiaron? Es simple, simple. Present, simple. Simple, present. Simple, present. Very simple good. Simple, present. Ok, I was sure of that. Ya estaba seguro. Sure. ¿Ah? Simple, present. ¿qué progressive. Va? Progressive. El going to. Ok, Progressive. Yes. No, going to, lo están haciéndolo conmigo. Good. Ajá. Conmigo, pero antes yo creo que hicieron presente continuo, eh, present continuous, o present progressive. Le pueden llamar present progressive 
o present continuous, de las dos formas puede ser. Y también I'm creo progress. que dieron eh, simple present. Yes. Ok, y conmigo están viendo futuro simple. Ok. So simple we... present tense, maybe. Yes, simple present tense. Ok, so son tres tiempos los que ya están, deberían de estar practicando. Entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I'm, I'm going to try to practice with you guys. Ah, I have another question. Um, in the past, in the past models, uh, did you get any, uh, like, any extra material from your teachers? En los pasados, eh, en los módulos pasados, obtuvieron material extra eh, de, de, de sus maestros o de, o de inglés corporativo? Uh, give me a book. They gave you a book. That would be the interchange, right? Yes. Interchange eh, intro. Right? Yes. Okay, interchange intro. So that's, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, because I need to check. Um, what have you been uh, studying? Necesito eh, revisar qué es lo que ya saben. Por eso quería saber cuál es el libro que, de, de dónde les dieron todo eso. Para estar seguro y, y hacer material, eh, we're going to make material for that. Okay, so we can actually work everything. So let's make a little bit of this. So, um, can... Let me check. We need one more thing here. Okay, questions about this. So remember, we're going to practice present continuous, simple present, and simple future. Three tenses. Tres tiempo vamos a practicar, okay? So I'm, go I'm going to start number one, present continuous, number two, simple future, and number three, simple present, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, now let's go to the next topic. Ahora vamos al siguiente tema. The next topic, it would be, oh, wait, 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 wait. I need you to do something. Aunque alguien me recuerde que esto es lo que vamos a practicar en la siguiente clase eh, con los tres tiempos. Um, we're going to practice the impressive continuous, simple future, and simple present, okay? Um, okay. But remind me, and I know that you already have the book. Si ya tienen el libro, márquenlo para, para volver a esto, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, teacher. Pero, bueno, uh -huh. eh, yo entra, eh, entré hasta este módulo. Uh -huh. Para conseguir el libro, eh, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Uh, si quieren, yo, yo le puedo uh, pasar las, uh, las copias de... Um, I can give you the copies for, for this, this model. Yo le puedo dar las copias de este módulo. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, okay good. Okay. Si alguien la necesita, yes. solo avísenme. Yes, teacher. I am here. Ok. Um, let's see. Let's see. I want to do something here. Ya que me pidieron ese material, se lo voy a enviar. Eh, de, de todo el, todo, todo el módulo. Ok. So, what I need you to do, que alguien se comprometa a hacer un WhatsApp, un grupo de WhatsApp con todos ustedes, me incluyen para, para y con, con eso. O mándenme um, su, su, su información a mi WhatsApp. Eh, send me your email to my WhatsApp, please. So I can send everything here, ok. Ok. Good. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, pongan, pero no solo mande, eh, su, pongan nombre completo y su y su y, y su correo electrónico y en qué módulo está, principiante 3, para no confundirme, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's okay. move on. Uh, we're going to go with the next topic, which is, let me check. Next topic is ways to improve yourself. Yes, this one. Ways to improve yourself. Okay, let's let's go to it. Here we go. Okay, everybody can see this? Yes. 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 
Okay. Yes. Uh, remember that in this in this in this section, section number two, we are talking about things for health. Health. What does it mean, health? Salud. Salud. Very good. Very good. And how do you say salud? In area? Para la clase, a él. What? Oh, how do you say salud, dinero, y amor? Health, money, health, money, money, and love. Very good. Health, money, and love. Very good. Let's begin. Okay, we're not going to do that. So in this topic, we're going to identify, discuss, and talk about ways to improve your health. Okay, so let's see. Topic introduction. We already did it. Ya hicimos eso, no problem. Okay, here we go. What are the, no, 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 wait, wait, sorry. Simple ways to improve your health. Eh, forma simple de, de aumentar su salud. Let's see. Number one, can you read this, please? Okay. There are also many smaller steps you can take that will help improve your overall health and quality of life. And because they are, they are things you can e easily, easy. easily incorporate into your routine, they'll be easy to make, maintain, maintain, maintain for the long haul. How? Yes. Even if you have only a few minutes, minutes, minutes to spare. You can use that time to improve your, your well-being. Try incorporating the following activities and strategies. Strategies, strategies. Strategies, strategies into your day. When these simple steps become hard, they can add, add up, add up, add up to a big positive effect on your overall health. Very good, thank you very much. So, the, it's saying that we, we can do a small steps, pequeños pasos para mejorar nuestra salud, okay? Any questions, vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes. Yeah. Um, how, long how? Eh, it's, como, it's like saying on the long run, eh, a la larga. Thanks. Van a ser fáciles de mantener a la larga. O sea, si, si hace esto, se le va a ser muy fácil. Um, next. What is the pronunciation for improve? Yeah, improve. that's good. Improve. Improve. Oh, Very good. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning? Is, is spare? Spare. A few minutes to spare, spare. meaning that uh, tener algunos minutos extra. Thank you. Okay, any other one? No, okay, number two, ready to read. Her. Okay. Put away the salt. Uh, salt checker on the dining table. Dining, dining table? Dining, dining table makes it all too easy to easy easy to consume consume express all which can lead to high blood pressure blood high blood high blood high blood, blood pressure so put the shaker in a cabinet or pantry um bright bring it bring it out bring bring it out only where you cooking it's also a good idea to test your food before you sell it quintana say you may find it doesn't need need it you can also try spicing up your food with lemon or lime juice, garlic, 
red pepper flakes, herbs, 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 or a salt free. Seasoning. Seasoning. Seasoning blend. Stock your freight. Fridge. Fridge. Um, pantry with your favorite fridge. And dried herbs. So you all always. always have them on hand to flavor your foods. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, I just wanted to point out this word. This is a verb and it's to taste. Taste. Saborear. Saborear. Taste. Okay. Um, any questions on vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes, teacher. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Okay. Uh, um, pres uh, presión, presión alta presión. de la sangre. Hypertension. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Any other? Sees on blind. Blind. Hmm. Sees on blind. Seasoning. 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 Sazonamiento. Sazon. Sazonamiento. Lo que le echa a la comida para que mm -hmm. sepa rico. What is the meaning of salt shaker? Salt shaker. Donde echa la sal. Para uh -huh. el, Y que tiene hoyitos. Salero. 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 Very good. Very good. Any other one? Uh, what means uh, fridge? Fridge. Refrigerador. It's, it's, oh. you know, it's short for, for refrigerator. Because refrigerator is too long. They got fridge. Como ah, ok. En thanks. inglés es muy largo. Refrigerator. So, entonces solo dicen fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Como decir la refri, algo exactly. así. Exactly, very good, yes. Okay, thanks, thanks. Any other question? No. Who's next reading? ¿A quién le toca leer? That's me. Okay, good. Next. Let's go for next. Okay. Get to bed early. Earlier, earlier. Earlier. Most, most of most us. Don't get the seven of more hours of sleep adults need, according to Quintana. Over time, a short taste of sure chat, 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 I, chat, I. chat I can raise your risk of a hair attack or a stroke. Uh, regardless, regardless, regardless of your age, weight, or exercise habits. If you're consistently, consistently, sleep, consistently, consistently, sleep deprived, 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 going, deprived, mm -hmm. okay, going to bed, going to bed, even fifteen even, minutes, even fifteen minutes, even fifteen minutes earlier, every night call help. Quintana says, also sit a regular sleep and wake. Shuro and schedule. schedule and stick to, re, to it even on days off. Very good. Okay, questions here. Um, the main idea is if you want to have good health, you have to go to bed early. Don't stay up. Don't watch too much movies at night. So you have to go uh, at least if you're going to work very early in the morning. So you have to go to bed at least at 9.30 or the most at 10 p.m. So you can have a good sleep, okay? Um, questions, vocabulary, or pronunciation? Uh, teacher, what's me? Should I? Shortage. Oh, should I? Where we were it? Should I? Uh, cerrar los ojos. So, cuando usted cierra los ojos, so. mm, so, What is the meaning? All right, Regardless. Regardless. Uh, regardless of your age. Sin importar. Sin importar su, su, su edad o peso. O sus hábitos de ejercicio. So, ¿le puede pasar? Okay. ¿Qué puede pasar? Un ataque al corazón. Ok. Ok. Any other question? No. Good. Next to read. ¿Quién sigue a leer? 
You know. Number four. Okay, go. Uh, check your posture, posture uh -huh. and ergonomics. Ergonomics. Next time, you you're at your desk or on the phone, take a moment to think about your posture. Thing is straighten, straighten up your back, stroke in your stomach, 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 and put your feet flat on the floor with your legs and cross, and cross. You'll you'll feel more relaxed right Relax. away. Quintana says, the few second this takes can help you avoid back pain on one of the most one one of the most one one of the most common health problems in the un, un, United States. United States and a leading Lead, cause of leading cause leading cause leading cause disability. of disability and if you work at a computer log and the ergonomics of your workstation how you fit and move in your environment environment to help prevent bad and neck strain carpal tunnel, tunnel, tunnel syndrome. syndrome a strain and other occupation in injuries injuries okay um injuries what he's saying this 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 is um, um a topic to, to check when you are working in your computer so you need to be straight otherwise you're going to hurt your neck or you're going to hurt other parts of the body okay so questions here mostly because back pain dolor de espalda back pain okay um questions what is the meaning a boy a boy evitar Any other question? A crossing. No, a cross. Sin cruzar. Cross. Sin cruzar las piernas. Okay? Thanks. Thanks. Good. Any other one? Okay, good. Oh, so Straight, straighten. Straighten. Eh, estar, set, estar derecho. Erguido. Erguido. Sin, sin, sin doblar la, la columna. Erguido. Como estar firme. Uh -huh. No, no firme, sino que recto. 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 Okay. No tiene que estar recto. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. talk in your stomach. Talk. In, in, in your stomach, en su estómago. Stomach. Yes. Talk. Talk with the meaning. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, talk in your stomach. The straight in your back, talk in your stomach. Ah, que, que, que haga firme el estómago. Okay. Thanks. Good. Okay. We finish with this. Now let's go here. Okay. Good. So that those are topics or tips for you to get healthy. Esos son eh, eh, consejos para mejorar su salud. Now let's continue with the next topic. Wait. In this topic, we need to see the video for that. I think I have a video here. Let me check, let me check. Let's see. I think we have a video. Don't work too hard. Simple ways to improve your hair. There it is. Oh, it's a reading. Okay, and with this, we're going to finish section number two. 
uh, this week is going to be heavy because we need to finish also uh, section number three because you need to do a lot of homework. Let's see. I'm going to share this with you guys. Let's see here. Okay, let me know when you see it. Are you watching this? Yes. yes. Good. Yes. So, 10 yes. simple ways to improve your yes. health. Yes. Okay, it's the same thing that we were talking about, how to improve your health. So, listen up. Listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article, about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Block. Wait, what is number one? Eat. Comer desayuno. Eat. Desayunar. Eat breakfast. Sí. They say that is the most important meal of the day. Eh, la comida más importante. Más importante del día. So we need to take it every day. And what is number two? Caminar. Go for a walk. Yes, go for a walk. Mm -hmm. even, even for five minutes, okay? Okay. Let's okay. listen, let's listen okay. to number three. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four. Okay, what is number three? Lavarse los dientes, cepillarse los dientes. No. Eh, cepillarse es brush well, your teeth. Y este oh, es floss, floss your teeth. What is floss? Mm -hmm. Usar hilo dental. Usar, uh -huh. usar hilo dental. Okay, so that's very important. Let's go for number four. Drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Good. What is number four? Tomar ocho vasos de agua. Tomar agua. ¿Cuántos vasos? Ocho vasos. Eight. Yes. Ocho. Y eso es lo mínimo. Eight. Es lo mínimo. Okay. How many, how many glasses of water do you drink a day? Do you know? Two. Two glasses? That's not good. You need to go more. Tienen que usar más agua. No soda. No refreshment. No refresco. Water. Water. Okay? Let's go to the next. Okay. Five. Stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Okay. What is number five? Estirarse. Yes, stretching. Mm -hmm. Yes, stretching your muscles. Estirar los, los, los músculos. músculos. Yes, they need to, to be active. Let's go for number six. Six, wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. What is number six? Usar el cinturón. Uh, wear a seat belt. Wear the seat belt. Very good. Um, hay un dicho en inglés que dice buckle up. Buckle up. Y significa ponte el cinturón. Buckle up. Okay. Let's go for okay. number seven. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Good. What is number seven? Poner a trabajar el cerebro. Challenge, retar, retar el, retar el cerebro. El cerebro. Yes. Let's go for number eight. Eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Okay, so what is eight? Proteger la piel. ¿Con qué? Con protector. ¿Y qué más? Moisturizer. Moisturizer. Um, eh, eh. Crema de esas humectantes. Let's go for number ten. Nine. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. Good. What is number nine? Tomar calcio. Mm -hmm. En leche, queso... Very good. Yes. Let's go for number 10. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. 
or sit down and listen to music. Very good. So what is Hi number, everyone. In this class you'll do What is number uh, number 10? Tomar un tomar un descanso de 20 minutos. Mm -hmm. Tiempo para hacer cualquier cosa, okay? Mhm. Mm sí. Okay, doki, so that was the class for today. Um guys, I need you to go up and do all the homework up to this level, okay? Tienen que hacer todas las las tareas de de hasta dónde vamos con las secciones. Okay? Vayan al día con eso. Porque ya me dijeron en 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 administración me dijeron que todos deben de ir y paso, okay? Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. And remember please remember okay. to send me your information to my WhatsApp, please, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Teacher, okay. Uh, don't hear you on the last uh, say. Oh yeah, um what? La última que dijo no no lo escuché muy bien. Oh, uh, what did I say? What did I say guys? Terminar oh, todas la... las lecciones. Oh yeah, que esté al 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 al, al día con todas al las lecciones con y las tareas. Con lo, con lo que voy a enseñar, vale, por ejemplo, hoy ya dimos hasta dónde. Hasta, hasta este punto de, de, de los tips para mejorar su salud, ¿ok? Mm, ok. Ok, guys, I'm very late now. So, I have to, I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you good tomorrow. Thanks, good night. teacher. See you tomorrow. You see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.